Now I swear if the audio quality on this clip is bad, I'm gonna scream like a little girl. It's so funny, and this is the second time I'm shooting this video. I just said in the video, in the end, that the image quality is not as important as audio quality. Then I look at the clip and my settings are completely off. So today's video, I wanted to talk a little bit about, currently I have this, this is the Rode Wireless Go connected to the Sony ZV-1. My settings were something like 25, you know, you can increase uh, the gain on the ZV-1 on the audio quality and the settings were just off. So currently I'm using 12 and I think this is pretty good enough. This video is not sponsored and I am not pitching anything, but I'm thinking to myself, if I was gonna pitch something, it would be my personal vlog. Yes, I have this other YouTube channel called Tom Skrillius, that's me. And I talk about very ordinary stuff. So if you're tired of perfection and perfect people and you just wanna unwind and just listen to a very boring guy, then I'm telling you, this is by far the most boring channel on the planet. Like It's like, you're welcome. Yeah. Okay, back to the video. I'm gonna discuss the low light settings on the Sony ZV-1 today and can you use it vlogging indoors when you're just starting off or you know, if you just want to have one camera for everything, one camera to rule them all, so to speak, that's what I always say. I mean, I don't always say it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so right now I have some light here and I have some light here. This is the window and this is my studio lamp. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn off the studio lamp and you can see that the colors have shifted a bit the image quality is still pretty good but the iso bumped up from 250 to about 640. it's not so bad i think this one handles iso pretty well now what i'm also gonna do is i'm gonna shut the shades here on the window and we're gonna go into pretty dim situation you know Okay, so this is what I would call absolutely horrible light conditions for shooting videos. This is not what I would recommend people to do. I see a lot of amateurs doing this sort of thing in the start of their YouTube careers. I did so myself, so I'm not pointing fingers. Um, this is horrible image quality. There is a lot more noise, there is a lot less details, but, and this is a big but, this still handles this type of low light situation way better than something like the iPhone 12 Pro. And just for comparison, I'm just gonna show you what it looks like. Like, you see, like this is, this is not good image quality compared to the Sony ZV-1. It still pretty much handles things very well. But the point of this video still is not so much to discuss whether or not the Sony ZV-1 handles in poor low light situations, but my argument here is that it doesn't really matter what camera you have, you just really need to focus more on your lighting conditions. So that's when I'm gonna fix the light now. And you don't really need to have like an expensive studio lamp, like the one I have, it's not really that expensive, but Something like this is enough, like just having an open window and it's not even sunny outside. Like it's, it's just a bright day, but it's not like sunlight coming in. This is good enough, you know? Now I do have a studio lamp and the colors are a bit warmer and I like it. I picked it for that reason. So I'm just gonna set it up here so we can enjoy the crisp quality and get back to ISO 250, which is in my opinion, a lot nicer on the details, you know? Yeah, this is it. This is um, the answer being questioned here. Now, for some strange reason, my shutter speed is at one of a 60th and not 150th, which should be if I'm recording at 24 frames per second, but it, it just makes the point even more because I think the low light situation is um, harder to deal with if you have one of a 60th second. So, you know, this is 
an interesting test nevertheless. But as I mentioned in the video that I just deleted because the audio quality just was horrible, is that focus more on the audio quality than the image quality because, you know, I mentioned this before and I'm gonna mention it like a ton of times, this this is just a penis enlarger. Like, you know, this is something that make people think that if they shoot in really excellent image quality, they're gonna get so many views and it's just not the case. Now, the best example for this would be probably somebody like PewDiePie, not very good camera situation and has more than 100 million subscribers. So, you know, he doesn't have that ego that the image quality has to look really crisp. Like he recently did upgrade his gear a bit, I think, but for most of his career, he had a pretty bad camera. So that just goes to show you, but he did not neglect the audio quality. He always has excellent audio quality. Now this is not the best audio quality. This is just a very simple solution. I just like the, the wireless situation. I like to get all of that radiation from wireless objects. So, you know, it just works for me. That's just who I am, you know, but it's not for everyone, I suppose. So yeah, there is that. Anywho, this video is not going to be too long. Just wanted to mention just a few things and hope you enjoy this one and I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Okay, so that was it. Uh, so how did you enjoy that video? I think it went pretty well. And to think I was recording that with this, the Sony ZV-1, that's pretty remarkable, isn't it? Um, I, I'm still recording, right? Yeah, I'm still recording. That's how stupid I am. But anyway, this camera is awesome. And if you wanna see more videos like this about the Sony ZV-1, then I'll put a link below in the comments in the video description. Oh, and at the end of this video, I'll also put a link to another video, how you can see me do more things with this camera. Like, you know, there's so many things that you can do, like audio settings. It's amazing what you can do with a tiny camera like this one. I, I'm not completely convinced just yet, but I think that if I only could pick one camera as my main channel camera, then it would be this one. Yeah, it's so nice because you can do it. You know, you can take it outside, film indoors. It's perfect. It's perfect, sort of, okay. I'm just mumbling here. I'll see you later. Take care.